Hey guys, welcome back to Salt and Pepper Gaming. Well, in this episode, we're going to be looking at the games that Nintendo have released on the Switch in 2021. Are now they any good? And should you be playing them? Let's go. So in this episode, we're going to have a look at some of the Nintendo Switch games coming out in 2021. And stay tuned to the end, because we're going to have a look at the one game we think you should get your hands on, or that we think is pretty awesome for this year. Um, and the first game that's just released as we're filming today is Mario Golf Super Rush. Well, this is Nintendo's sixth installment of Mario Golf, and um, what they've done with this game is absolutely brilliant. I love how they've made it look uh, incredible. They've kept to the original Mario cartoonish vibes, and it still looks really incredible in this game. It's about the basics of any golf game when it comes to making sure you're looking at the wind direction and the elevation of the land. Um, there's a story mode in, in, in this golf game where you can walk around in a village and obviously start becoming uh, learning to be a professional golf player. What I love about this game is the twist. It feels like they've added a Mario Kart element to the game. Once you've taken your hit, you have the ability to um, race your opponents to the ball and along the way you're collecting coins that enables you to have more of a star power. It, you, you can collect hearts which gives you more stamina for the next hit and it's like this race to see who can get as many coins before your next hit. It's pretty fun. And coming out in July 2021 is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This was originally released on the Wii years ago, and it's making a remake in HD on the Nintendo Switch in July, which we're pretty excited about. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people who hate the fact that Nintendo keep regurgitating old games. I personally like it because um, A, it's Zelda, and Zelda rocks, kicks ass. Yeah, I don't I remember playing this on the Wii when it came out, so it's great that we've got an opportunity now to play it on our own Switch in yeah, HD. That's cool. And what I love about it is that bringing out the uh, Nintendo Limited Edition Zelda controllers, uh, the Joy-Cons, which is awesome because who doesn't like getting new controllers with a new game? I do. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing we like about this Zelda version coming out is that no longer a requirement to use your motion controls like when you had the Wii. So now you can either use the motion if you wanted to or just have a normal controller, which some of us enjoy more because sometimes you know, still you well, well, that's why I play a game like this. <laughs> that's why I didn't like the Wii as much. <laughs> <laughs> so we just want to sit down and do nothing. Yeah, you know, so. that's cool. Yeah, we are excited about Zelda. It is in HD and it looks absolutely crisp. It looks incredible. Yes, it's a remake, but it's one worth getting. If you're a Zelda fan, why wouldn't you get it? Because uh, we're waiting for the sequel of Breath of the Wild. Until then, keep playing Zelda. And coming out in September 2021, is Warrior Wear Get It Together. It's a me, Wario. And it's a finally ready, a brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. I didn't realize this actually is the 10th installment of the Warrior Wear series, um, but I'm actually quietly excited about this game. It looks interesting, looks cool, and um, it's not what you expected for the first Wario game to be released on the Switch. I expected a bit more. I thought it'd be more like a typical 3D Mario kind of uh, platforming, but it's not, but it's good. So WarioWare is a collection of three to five seconds micro games that get harder and, and faster over time you play the game. What's uh, really cool is in the actual game, there's a lot of different co-ops that you have to either work together as a team to accomplish the little uh, micro micro levels uh, to get to the boss. The last WarioWare game came, that came out in 2018 had over 300 micro games, which makes me feel confident that there's going to be enough micro games to keep you entertained. Yeah, I think this is a great partnership where adults and like parents and kids can be playing together, having loads of fun. And it's just a cool game. I love the characters. In the levels, each different character has their own ability that enables you to win the game in a different manner, hmm. which is pretty cool. I like how they've added that. Yeah, so check out for WarioWare coming out September. Coming out in October, we have two epic games, Metroid Dread and uh, Mario Party Superstars. In Metroid Dread, you play as the bounty hunter Samus Aran as she explores the planet ZDR. It retains the side-scrolling gameplay of previous Metroids, 
along the side of free aim melee attacks and the added sliding and clinging to blue services. Dread also adds stealth, which helps Samus avoid the indestructible Emmy robots. So this game overall is looking pretty exciting to come out in October. And also released in October is Mario Party Superstars. We're quite excited about this one coming out as it's a remake almost of the Nintendo 64 version. Yeah, so this game comes out with five boards and um, if you watch the trailer, you see that you're exposed to three of the original uh, Nintendo 64 uh, versions, which is the Peach's birthday. You got Spaceland and Woody Woods, I think it's called. This game is gonna have over 100 mini games from the original Mario Party 64 game. Um, and they look quite awesome compared to the original version. Yeah. Um, so we're quite excited about this, this Mario Party coming out. They've introduced lucky spaces on the board, uh, which enables you to get new coins and things like that. What I love about these is that the boards are much larger than the original themes. So we're pretty excited about the new Mario Party game coming out. So uh, have a look when it comes out. Whee! And coming out, <laughs> <laughs> and coming up in November is Just Dance 22. It's, it's okay. Like it's, uh, we're not too excited about this Just Dance game. Our kids are. Um, I they're feel kids. like they're they're like every other Just Dance game where it's just another 40 new songs coming out. Um, but if you like Just Dance, then uh, it's cool because you get a whole bunch of new songs like you've said. While this game is not a Nintendo Switch game, it's actually an incredible Nintendo product coming out in November. And that is the Game & Watch Limited Edition Zelda series, uh, which is awesome because last year they brought out Mario and this year we're going with Zelda. And this Game & Watch Zelda Edition it comes out with three playable Zelda games and obviously the watch that it comes with as well. The one game you can play is The Legend of Zelda, the original 1987 game. I and mean, also Zelda to the Adventure of Link that came out in 1988. And the awesome The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening came out in 1993. In true Game & Watch fashion, it comes out with a handy digital clock and timer. You can interact with both. The look of this classic Game & Watch device looks pretty awesome. And coming out in November are two Pokemon remakes. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that came out on the DS in 2006. So we're pretty excited to see new Nintendo Switch Pokemon game coming out at um, the end of the year. So Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are expected to be similar to the original in a top-down isometric third-person perspective. As with the original games, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are set in the fictional region of Sinnoh, an island based on the Japanese island of Hokkaido. This game looks absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of Link's Awakening uh, that was released on the Switch just recently. And um, hey, it's Pokemon. How can you go wrong? You're either going to get Diamond or you're going to get Pearl. I'll probably get Diamond because it's just what I'm going to choose. So the one game we're looking forward to playing, um, though it is technically the beginning of next year, it is a new Pokemon game. It is Pokemon Arceus. Now this game looks absolutely special. It's coming out in late January 2022, and um, it's a game that I think uh, surpasses all the other Pokemon games. Pokemon Legends Arceus is really, really exciting because it is the first of the main series of all Pokemon games that is an action role-playing game. It's very different from the ones that you've seen before. Um, one thing I love about it is it's set in an open world setting, just like um, Zelda and um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, for example, that was introduced. The one, the one thing I like about this game that's different to other Pokemon that's coming out is that you no longer have to fight a Pokemon to capture it. Now when you're on the field, you can just throw a Pokeball um, and try and capture a Pokemon that way. Well, that was Pokemon Arceus that's coming out in 2022. Yeah, so we're excited about the games coming out on the Nintendo Switch this year. Let us know in the comments down below what are the games you're excited to play this year at the, on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and coming up soon is also, we're gonna be having a look at the games coming out this year for the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So soon there'll be a link for this, so ch check that out when it's ready. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and also Instagram. We love producing content for you guys, and uh, we'll hope to see you guys in our next episode. So yeah, have a good one. Peace.